After our first season with Hearts, we're in a pretty good place to pick up from where we left off after a pair of cup wins and an Europa League performance that took us to the quarterfinals. That said, <sighs> well, <laughs> time to go to work. First, we extend Cameron Devlin's contract with a new release clause. Then, we make loans for Odin Thiago home and Ryan Porteous into permanent contracts. We follow that by making some other moves, such as picking up Dujan Sterling from Chelsea and a free transfer, Vasilije Milanovic from Australia, Yassin Salmani from Iran, and Sufanat Moyanta from Thailand. However, we also have players who leave, so Lauren Shankland, Peter Herring, and Xander Clark are among the ones who go. So, how do we start our season opener against Aberdeen? Well, if you guessed it's another season opener draw, congratulations. You are a clairvoyant and I'd like to use your talents in the near future. At least it's similar to last year where the rest of August we win our next few games, including a 6-0 thrashing of Vorskla in the Europa League playoff qualifier, where Garan Kool scores all six of said goals in the first leg. It's such a large gap that even a close 3-2 loss in the second leg is not enough for them to overturn the aggregate. So hooray for getting back into the Europa League. We then get our Europa group draw, and it sees us against Olympiacos, Maccabi Haifa, and Bayer Leverkusen. Flashback. The Europa League merchants themselves. Damn it, man, was Real Betis or Leverkusen unavailable? End of flashback. Well, this is awkward. A pair of 4-1 wins in the Premiership soon follow in September to start, leading us into the Europa League matchup against Leverkusen, and they are who we thought they were as we smash them 3-0. Rafe Sue follows on the path of destruction we've begun to build, and in the Scottish League Cup quarterfinals, even a supposed tough matchup against Rangers is made into a walk in the park as we go into the Ebrox and bash them 4-0. So of course they throw a Celtic in the semi-final. The thing next to you is a pain in the ass. But it's alright, we'll take out our annoyances of those events on St. Mirren to end September undefeated. We walk into October to beat Olympiacos in the Europa, beat Dundee United in the Premiership, and then we lay a goose egg against Ross County, thus snapping our undefeated streak. It's not looking good when we struggle after that to make the best of our chances against Maccabi Haifa in the Europa League and can't even be a Celtic team that's down a man to wrap up the month in Premiership. But we move to November, it's a new month, we don't start it off well with a draw to Rangers, but thankfully our favorite punching bags are next on the schedule. Yes, I am talking about Hibernian and the Edinburgh Derbies that we have this year. Two hours later. We scored three goals in the first half and those are more than enough to seal the deal to get us back to our winning ways. So thanks Hibs, thanks a lot. A Scottish League Cup semi-final matchup against Celtic goes the distance again and we do come out victorious against the boys with two of our Australians being the ones to make the goal scoring happen. We advance to the Scottish League Cup final for the second straight year and this time around we've got Ross County waiting for us on the other side. The rest of November has no losses in the book. Premiership wise, we're keeping up appearances by being third place, but if we're going to shake up the old firm, we need to start showing those two franchises that we're not here to mess around before the end of the year. So beating up on Rife in the most dominant way possible with a 9-0 victory sends that message pretty clearly. <laughs> A trailer against Leverkusen in the Europa doesn't deter us as we still manage to qualify to the knockout stage of the competition. Success! We then use that loss as further fuel to the fire to win four straight in the Premiership, including yet another derby win against Hibs. <laughs> yeah! Oh, right, this also applies to the Scottish League Cup final against Ross County, where Yassin Salmani's first ever goal with Hearts is an absolute screamer that finds the back of the net. It helps to give us our first trophy of the season. One title defense down, one to go. January is here and it means transfer business. And we don't hesitate to make some deals to strengthen our roster for the big games ahead. 
especially since we get our knockout round draw in the Europa against Serbian side Red Star Belgrade. We see Garankul depart back to Newcastle as his loan expires. So long, partner. But bring in Leeds United's Wolfried Nanto on loan for the rest of the season to replace him. We then add in Merrick Rodak from Fulham as a backup keeper and get a sweet deal on a versatile defender in Anderson Royal from Liverpool. As for our fixtures during the month, Celtic beat us again. Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat f Thankfully, we cleared out the rest of the month smoothly with wins all over the board, including a 5-1 win in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup against Berwick. We also complete a one-year extension with Craig Gorton, guaranteeing that the man will retire as a gem. It's a real good atmosphere both on and off the pitch and we, we need to try and keep that together. We'll, we'll definitely need them at this point. February sees us start off strong against Dundee United in Kilmarnock before yet again running into Celtic. We at least draw them this time in a boring no no affair. But the show goes on as we move through the rest of February in undefeated fashion, including wins in the Scottish Cup fifth round against Forfar, getting the announcement that we face Hibs in the next round, which is hilarious, and then an aggregate win a 5 0 against Red Star Belgrade in the Europa Knockout two legs. We are in March and we're once again in the round of 16 of the Europa League. Oh no, not these guys again! Until that time comes, we do have premiership business to take care of, and two wins in a draw to start the month is not bad by any stretch. We get Sevilla at home for the first leg uh, this time, and while the Europa League merchants make it tough for us, Sufanat Mwanta scores, Craig Gordon saves an RDT penalty, and we go to the second leg with the slim advantage. The schedule makers do have an odd sense of humor putting the Scottish Cup matchup versus Hibs in between those Europa League legs. However, lads, it's Hibs. We rotate the lineup, we manage to win 1-0, we move to the semis of the Scottish Cup against Motherwell, and is it really a rivalry if you just keep beating them over and over again? Questions for later. We have the second leg of the Europa League where the good news for Sevilla is that Raul de Thomas does score on a penalty kick this time. 15 minutes after Hart scores the second goal of the aggregate. So yes, the Europa League merchants have been dealt with again. 24 hours later. The draw in the Europa League gives us Leverkusen. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Let's keep going, because we do end up finishing March by giving Motherwell a small preview of what might just happen to them in the Scottish Cup semi-final next month. During the course of these last few months, our run of form in the Premiership, along with Rangers becoming draw merchants, has put us comfortably in second place while they're having to fend off Hibs to maintain third place. With the Premiership split only a few weeks away, we've actually got a shot at second place and with it, the league path qualifiers of the Champions League. So we just keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, we beat Raid and Hibs again in the Premiership matches, even as some of our players like Craig Hackett, Jordan Davies, and Ryan Porteous keep taking themselves out in practice for prolonged periods of time. It's not necessarily ideal given we have Leverkusen on the schedule, and it does show in the first leg of the quarterfinals as we go into their house and surrender a 1-0 lead late to their super sub, Paulinho. Not to worry though, uh, we do prove yet again that Bayern Leverkusen are who we thought they were all along by beating them in the second leg. 3-0 thanks to Yutaro Oda and Sufanat Moyanta supplying the goal score. Wrapping up the month, we round back around to Motherwell and beat them 7-0 in the Scottish Cup semi-finals, punching our ticket to our second straight cup final here against Dundee United. It's new territory for us on a lot of fronts, what with the defending multiple cups and then coming as far as we have in the Europa League itself, which we've reached now the semi-finals for the first time ever. Go figure that they decided for a Premier League team like West Ham United to rudely welcome us for making it so far in the Europa. The Premiership split does happen at the end of April, but before our game against Aberdeen, we do get the news in which Craig Gordon will be calling it a career at the end of the season. <sighs> Just
that announcement does inspire a 3-1 win against Aberdeen and we are only 5 points behind Celtic in 2nd place but it's not good enough to hang with Celtic after losing to them and to Rangers thus guaranteeing Celtic yet another title. But you know what? Let's focus on Europa and the first leg against West Ham where it looks like we're gonna escape London with a draw to head back to Tyne Castle Park but then... Do not scratch your eyes! You are really seeing the most extraordinary... <laughs> gonna know do that? Who? Oh, just... Gonna know. Also, it doesn't help that Yassine Salmani and Anderson Arroyo both get injured and are out for the rest of the season. Not ideal. By any stretch. I hate it here. <laughs> oh. We do feel some of those absences as the second leg of the semis. West Ham is up 2 0 on us, but on the brink of elimination, Nujon Sterling decides to deliver the goal of the season from outside of the box. And when a right back is the one doing that, well, the rest of the team gets the man once Nonto and Moyanta deliver on goal soon after. We go to extra time. It takes until the second half of extra time, but Nathaniel Atkinson and Bruce Anderson deliver for us. And in unbelievable fashion, we are moving on to the finals of the Europa. Wait. Paris? Saint Germain? Of course! What the f are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be bottling it up in the Champions League? God damn it! Okay, two games left in the season. First, we got the Scottish Cup final to deal with, but in the 97th minute, Wilfried Nanto comes through in the clutch, scoring a goal, and that's more than enough to guarantee us our second straight Scottish Cup and yet another double for the year. But on to the important business now. The Europa League final is upon us against the one team in France that has monopolized their entire league. We may be the underdogs. We may not be given a chance. But come hell or high water, we are at least scoring a goal on these Farmers League merchants. And Yutaro Oda soon delivers just that on the counter. Taking a pass from Odin Thiago home, sprinting past two PSG defenders, finding the corner of the net on his shot. 15 minutes in, and we are leading 1-0 against France's absolute best. But then, this happens. Okay, not exactly ideal that Kylian Mbappe tied this in 5 minutes, but still 1-1. It's anybody's game, and we could... Yes, sir! <laughs> well... This escalated quickly. A few minutes later. Bolsonarista filho da Not ideal to end the season on a loss, but we did get to the final of an Europa League against a powerhouse team, and it's something to still be very proud of as a whole. But for now, we veer away from Europa as our focus for this next year is pretty simple. Champions League League path football qualifiers to start getting the money to flow in in order to finally start giving Celtic the scare that they deserve. With the season all wrapped up, we do say goodbye to a club legend in Craig Gordon. He was a faithful servant to the club, to the game, and to Scotland as a whole. But you know the rules around here. When legends retire, they become coaches. Speaking of which, we have this goalkeeping coach position open, then yeah, get in, just take it. Let's go already. 